My BFI player choice this week is a deceptively low-key documentary by Hikaru Toda, which, despite its unassuming approach, manages to get right under the skin of modern Japanese society, exposing its institutional flaws and prejudices of love and law. ないっていうかさ、We focus on the odd couple figures of Masafumi Yoshida and Kazuyuki Minami. Together, Fumi and Kazu run a legal practice in Osaka, which happens to be the first Japanese law firm to be set up by an openly gay couple. Despite the kind of bickering you'd expect from a pair who've been together for 15 years, they're clearly devoted to each other and hope to adopt a baby. In the meantime, they're surrounded by an extended family support network, including one of their mums, an inquisitive cat, and a teenager whom they've raised since he left an orphanage. Fumi and Kazu specialize in taking on the cases of outsiders, and we follow them as they represent an illuminating string of clients. These include a teacher who's been dismissed for failing to stand for the national anthem, people born out of wedlock battling against a Byzantine bureaucracy that effectively prevents them from having an accredited identity, and an artist charged with obscenity for making works based on her genitalia. The last of these, and arguably the most fascinating, is Roku Denashiko, whose work includes a vagina-shaped canoe in which she attempted to escape the tyranny of Japan's patriarchy. It's a fascinating watch, alternately touching and amusing, uplifting and heartbreaking. But most importantly, it speaks volumes about a society in flux and about the changes that are occurring within Japan's traditional structures. By focusing in on the seemingly incidental details of specific cases, Hikaru Toda paints a much wider picture of Japanese society at large and does so with wit and grace. Mm -hmm.